What is going on guys? We're back here again today. Welcome back to the channel, Savage Panda Projects, the Habitat for Horsepower. So on today's video, we're gonna be doing a quick rig rundown as far as a basic beginner vlog setup for the all new A6600 camera. Now, before we get started, I just have to take a minute to thank my buddy Jordan over on his channel, Speed Culture Studios. Thank you so much for hooking me up with some fresh merch. I really appreciate the support, man. So obviously the first thing we're gonna need here is gonna be your camera body. So I'm a huge fan of this new design with these cameras. As you can see, we've got this flip up screen. I'm really glad Sony included this feature on these new cameras, just it makes it so much easier when you're trying to vlog. You can go ahead and monitor yourself. One minor issue you will run into when you go ahead and flip the screen around is you can see this cold shoe now where you would typically mount your microphone is gonna be blocking your view of this screen. So what I've done is I went ahead and picked up this small rig cold shoe relocation bracket. So now we have another cold shoe on this side and another cold shoe on this side. One thing really important if you're gonna be installing this cold shoe adapter is you're gonna to have to get rid of these annoying strap mounts. I'm not a big fan of them. I think they make a lot of noise. They tend to jingle around a lot when you're walking around vlogging, and that's definitely not something you wanna be dealing with. Now, I will mention it's a fairly straightforward process removing those. It's basically the same thing as taking a key off a key ring. You don't have to modify or damage anything with your camera. It is easily something that is reversible just in case you need to get them back on into their factory position. So once that's done, we can go ahead and safely mount our small rig cold shoe adapter, which I'll make sure to post a link in the description box below, just in case you guys need to pick one up for a similar setup. All right, so moving on to our next step, we're gonna be choosing our lens. I went ahead and picked up the 16 through 50 Sony kit lens. Not a bad lens, great starting point for anybody with a 6100, 6400, or 6600 camera. 16 millimeter is wide enough for vlog use. You can also zoom in up to 50 just in case you need to get a little closer to your subject. I'm also a big fan of the optical steady shot feature included with this lens, just to kind of cut down on any shakes or jitters that you might find when vlogging. Having a camera such as the A6600 that already has in-body image stabilization, combining that with a lens that is optically stabilized, such as the 16 through 50, is a great way to give yourself some awesome smooth footage. All right, so moving on to our next step. Got a new SanDisk SD card. You can see this is the Extreme Pro. It's got a 64 gig capacity, pretty good amount of space. That's gonna be fine for what we're doing here. So it's a great memory card. I've been using these for a couple years now. You can pick them up for a pretty reasonable price. I'd highly recommend checking one of these guys out. Now this next step is totally up to the person. I personally like to use an external microphone. I feel like you get a lot better audio, get much better sound quality using the external microphone rather than the built-in audio. My preferred microphone of choice is the Rode Video Micro. I really like the fact that we've got this noise cover that really helps cut down, especially on wind noise. I use this often in many cases for vlogging. I use it when I'm driving in my car. I use it with my GoPro. I like it especially if I'm doing exhaust clips. It's a great microphone to use. Very reasonable price point. Always a dependable option. It runs off the power from your camera battery so you don't have to worry about any additional power adapters or power supplies. Then as far as our tripod, gorilla pod, I'm using the Joby Gorilla Pod. It's a good kit. I like the fact that it does support a decently heavy setup. Being that this 16 through 50 lens is pretty small, we're not gonna have a massive amount of weight. So this is gonna be more than sufficient for this basic vlog setup. We've got our Joby 3K Gorilla Pod. Make sure to check the link in the description box below if you want to pick one of these up. Alrighty guys, so now that we've gone over our basic key ingredients for putting together this little vlog rig, let's go ahead and take the time to get everything assembled and we'll test it out. I went ahead and took the time to install the small rig cold shoe adapter, so that's already taken care of. Now, if these little strap buttons are giving you a hard time, keep in mind it's not the end of the world. You can easily remove these little black plastic covers and then you basically just slide them off like you would a key on a keychain. Not too bad. Now, first things first, let's go ahead and get our lens installed. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up the dots from the body and the lens. Turn that to the side until you hear a nice firm click. Next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab our SanDisk Extreme Pro SD card. Slide that one in there. Nice little click. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and install this little base plate so we can mount our GorillaPod. Go ahead and line up that there. Now you can use whatever you want to tighten this. You could probably grab like some spare change. Uh, since I'm pretty much broke, since I just bought all the stuff, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and have to make do uh, with a little guitar pick here. All right, so we've got our base plate secured. All right, next let's go ahead and plug in this Rode Video Micro. Now again, on the small rig cold shoe adapter, we've got a couple different options. Uh, we could either mount on this side or this side. Me personally, I feel like it's just a little bit more balanced just having it over here, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. 
So as you can see, everything's starting to come together nicely. We've got our lens and our body. We've got our microphone. We've got our base plate for our Joby Gorilla Pod. Now, very briefly, I just want to make a point about this kit lens. This is a basic beginner vlog setup. We're not going to get too crazy expensive with our lens choice right now. There is a very nice variety of APS-C e-mount lenses you can pick up for your 64 or 6600 cameras. I know a lot of you guys are going to say, well, why not use the Sigma? 16 millimeter f 1.4 get that amazing blurry background that shallow depth of field now this lens is a great little lens yes it is 3.5 to 5.6 aperture but you are not going to get optical steady shot with one of the sigma lenses you can buy this lens brand new off amazon for 150 bucks so for the money you just can't beat it definitely planning on picking up some more lenses for this a6600 so we will be covering that later down the road in future videos all right so we're making the most out of this nice little budget rig and we've got our Gorilla Pot. Let's go ahead and slide this guy on here. And then what we can do is a nice little flip move on this screen. Kind of rotate that around. We'll move this microphone cable uh, behind the screen so that is not obstructing our view. Cool, so there you go. See that is coming together nicely. I'm just kind of bend these legs in that vlog position, just kind of angled forward so we can give ourselves a nice reach. It's another reason why I'm a big fan of the 16 millimeter lens on this APS-C crop body, just because it is wide enough for vlogging where we're not having to hold our arm like a mile away to be able to get in our shot. So as you can see, we've got our a6600 on our Gorilla Pod. We've got that nicely adjusted in our vlog position. So we'll go and spend some time here and we'll test out our rig. Facial tracking is so smooth. I just love this fast Sony hybrid autofocus system. I mean, it really does a great job. Yeah, I can deal with this, man. Not a terrible little setup. Probably definitely plan on picking up a Sony 10 through 18 millimeter makes it a little bit easier just to get a really nice big wide field of view you don't have to hold the gorilla pod too far away from yourself so that's probably also something i'll be looking to add down the road but for right now i can definitely get by with a 16 through 50. so yeah let me know what you guys think i think this is a pretty good kit i'm liking the in-body stabilization i'm liking the optical steady shot i think it gets the job done now for absolute professional seamless buttery smooth stable shots you can obviously pick up a gimbal, so you can always go above and beyond if necessary. Always a fan of this windscreen on this Rode Video Micro. It is a little bit windy out here, so hopefully that's able to cut down some of that noise. Alrighty guys, so I'd say our rig was successful. I'm pretty happy with the results. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Well, thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description box below for all mentioned camera gear and accessories. Also want to give a huge thanks once again to my buddy Jordan over at Speed Culture Studios. Thank you so much, man, for hooking me up with some fresh merch. I appreciate the support. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.